He was born in Boston, Massachusetts. He played one of the most iconic roles on TV and he directed movies. And he died this morning. I'm of course talking about Leonard Nimoy. And I'm sure as many of you did, I also grew up with him on TV obviously in Star Trek as Mr. Spock. And I was actually planning to skip this week's episode because of just so many things going on here right now. But uh, when I heard the sad news this morning, I thought I had to bring up another side of this man, which is actually very relevant to this little show. And that's the fact that in addition to being an actor, Leonard Nimoy was also a photographer. There's his The Full Body Project, the uh, Shekinah series. He released some poetry and photography and he even exhibited in the Emerson Gallery in Berlin. So when I started thinking about what I could say here, uh, I actually remembered a video that I saw sometime last year where Leonard Nimoy gets interviewed by Pharrell Williams on the Reserve Channel. And in addition to talking about Star Trek and other things, Williams asks him about his photography. So let's hear it from Leonard Nimoy himself. Yeah. After uh, Star Trek, you fell in love with photography. Yeah, well, long before, actually. What drew you to photography as an art form? Well, I started with it when I was a kid, about 10 or 11 years old. And uh, a friend in the neighborhood showed me how to develop a roll of film and make a print. Mm -hmm that you could do that yourself was, was a magical thing for me. So it was more the process than anything else. The subject matter wasn't terribly important at the time. But you have some, sub you have some good subject matter. Though. Eventually I found my way to using the process to do some more creative work. And in 1971, after I had finished uh, Star Trek and a couple of years on Mission Impossible, uh -huh. I went to UCLA to start studying photography seriously under a very good teacher named Robert Heineken. And he led me to understand how to look for thematic ideas in photography. Was that enough for you to leave acting? No, as it turned out, the answer was no. Uh, did you think about it? I did, yeah. Okay. I thought for a while that I might, I might just switch careers, that maybe I'd had enough of acting for a while. Mm -hmm. But I discovered that um, it would be a great way to spend some time and, and express some ideas, but I still needed to do some work as an actor and director. There's a lot of uh, controversy with um, the, the Shekinah photographs. How did you come up with the idea to, to uh, combine God and the feminine form? I guess controversy is, is appropriate. Uh, the, images are, uh, the images are sensual and in some cases sexual. And when you mix that with religion, mm -hmm. you're going to get some reaction. Okay. I wasn't thinking, I wasn't trying to create controversy. I was looking for a way to express this aspect of the feminine persona, the feminine life, the feminine, well, actually it goes back to this, which, right. which is the, 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 I was told when, when these guys are doing that in the synagogue, I was told not to look. And you're not supposed to look because during that blessing that's going on, the Shekhinah, the feminine aspect of God, supposedly comes into the sanctuary to bless the congregation. You don't want to see her because the light, from she's a deity, and that light could be very damaging, even fatal to a human being. So when I learned that, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to try to find somewhere to photograph her, to capture her, to see what she looks like, to see, to find out what, had, what that being looks like. Wow. And that's why I set her out with the camera, looking for the Shekhinah. Ah, maybe it just came out at the wrong time. I think if you were to do that today, Should I start all over? Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be a great project to do. Um, the photography collection, The Full Body. Right. Please, let's talk about that. A lady came to me and she said, I'm a, a model. Mm -hmm. I'm a different body type than what you've been working with. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in working with me? She was a very large lady. Very dear lady, very intelligent. Large, large, large body. I didn't quite know how to deal with that because that's not what I had been working with. I told my wife Susan what I just told you, and she said you ought to try it. And this again was one of these situations where the question is, will you do something that scares you? Right. 
So I decided to go for it and make an effort. We shot some pictures of her, which turned out kind of interesting. I thought they were almost like marble sculpture. Right. And whenever I showed those pictures of her, along with the other work, those pictures got, got the attention. So I thought there's something going on there in our culture about this kind of a body. Wow. And I went to look for other women who had that, that kind of body structure. I found a group in San Francisco who were actually a burlesque group. They called themselves the Fat Bottom Review. They were a wonderful bunch of women who had a great joy in life and who were exciting in their figures and in their bodies, and I photographed them. And that's how the Full Body Project book came about. Do you feel like people give you the gravitas as a photographer that you deserve versus Mr. Nimoy, the actor? I, uh, that's, a, that's a mixed issue. In some areas, yes. In some, in some areas, the answer would be no. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased that there are a, a number of pieces of my work in museums now mm-hmm. and, and, and a lot of people's collections. In some cases, there's no question that people are not interested in my work because of who I am mm-hmm. based on Star Trek and other acting work that I've done. Mm-hmm. But there are also, there's also been enough recognition for the work itself that makes me feel satisfied about it. Well, I know I'm going to become a collector, just right. so you know. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, your memoirs. Mm-hmm. I am not Spock. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to keep this short. If you want to see the entire video... I'm going to link this in the show notes. Go to tfttf.com slash 672. Live long and prosper.